All right, welcome to Steps to Freedom. I'm going to be talking about the class, what the Miracle List is, and homework number one for the first night. So I'm your facilitator along with Lori Madden who is manning the camera and audio. It's a 12-week course in spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical recovery. So this is week one. You are now in spiritual recovery. The time is between from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. on Tuesdays here at the Arizona Deliverance Center. As you know, on YouTube, these oh crap, is being uh, recorded. <laughs> uh, the next class is going to begin August 2nd. So if you're not able to participate and you want to in person, you can come for August 2nd, and I'm only accepting 15 people for registration. Uh, the part one, again, is held on YouTube. Okay. So the topics that we'll be covering in this class are forgiveness, dysfunctional parents, negative thought disorder, autonomic processing, oh, uh, grumbling and complaining, overcoming rejection, anxiety disorders, Godly sorrow versus worldly sorrow, God's discipline, mind control, how Satan controls the mind, James 4, 7 through 11, and why I should get baptized. Throughout the weeks, we'll be discussing uh, different teachings from Brother Mike, Mike Smith, and we'll be covering parts of these two books, Pigs in the Parlor and Plan of Spirits. Both books are available in the bookstore. There are some resources that I hope you'll take advantage of. Uh, internet resources. One is at hardcorechristianity.com. There are teaching articles and testimonies. Steps of Deliverance is a Facebook, it's on Facebook. It's a Wednesday night mo Zoom meeting with Rick Cott and the Arizona uh, deliverance team. YouTube channel, Hardcore Christianity, there are videos, services, and teachings. Steps to freedom, this class will be on there covering the miracle list. Also check out gethealed101.com. That is a man by Steve Binion. He's one of the ministers here. It's an excellent resource for teachings and audio cast outs. All right. Um, oh, sorry about that. Okay. Technical difficulties. No, now it's going to go back. All right. Um, we're not going to cover that. That's for the in-person portion of the class. So every class, um, we're going to not talk about what the miracle list is, but we'll talk about what we'll be doing in every class from here on. So what is the miracle list? This is a list of practical things you can do to help yourself get delivered from spirits and help your heart heal from um, brokenness. This is a list that Brother Mike put together, and he uh, reminds us that God loves us dearly and he wants us healed. He wants everyone well. The list is designed to get to the root of your mental and emotional illness and Satan's strongholds in your life. Each item has several steps, so don't hurry over them. The list has been, this list has healed hundreds of people. So go to hardcorechristianity.com for testimonies and read all about the people who have completed the list. Go to the Facebook page for Hardcore Christianity and look up blessings and read about all the miracles that people have benefited um, from by doing the list. Mike has found after 20 years of ministry that autism, Down syndrome, developmental disabilities, mental retardation or intellectual disabilities, multiple sclerosis, ALS, Huntington's disease, muscular dystrophy are all caused by spirits. That means you can be healed. You don't have to stay 
in those conditions. And that these spirits have come down through the family tree. They attack the child in womb or in early childhood. There's a special note. Um, also, these, these uh, mental, emotional conditions like schizophrenia and by, uh, borderline personality disorder, psychosis, bipolar, these are all caused through childhood trauma. And usually um, there's an onset to them in late teen years or adulthood. These things are caused by rejection and rebellion. And these are spirits that got into the child and then show up later on in life. The great news is that all these mental illnesses can be healed through deliverance and inner healing. Um, so if you are struggling with mental illness, know that you can get healed from these, these ailments. You don't have to suffer with depression or anxiety or any of these more serious mental illnesses. There is hope. Okay, a word from Brother Mike. I just want to read this to you. He says, I have seen many mentally ill patients completely cured and are joyous over their new lives. Those who did not follow this program were not cured. Here are a few virtual truths that will speed up your process. Follow them with everything you have. That means you have to make a commitment. Take it slowly and only one step at a time. Don't let the demons distract you and do not do your own program. It won't work. Stick with the miracle list. Go through it slowly, one step at a time. Stay focused. Okay. Are you ready to be free? What are you willing to do to be free? What are you willing to give up? Who are you willing to cut out of your life to be free and live as Jesus intended you to live? What is more important than your healing? What is more important to your relationship with God? And what is more important to your ministry? Are you ready for freedom? Because it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. So here's the miracle list homework for the next week. Oh. So the question is, who hurt you? So you're going to do number one is who hurt you? You're going to make a numbered list. You're going to get a notebook, write it on your computer, however you want to do it. You're going to write number one, my mom hurt me. Number two, my dad hurt me, for example. And name all the people, the kid in second grade stole my toy. Whatever it is, you're going to make a list, a numbered list of all the people that have hurt you from childhood to present. The people who have hurt you significantly. You remember it. You still feel it inside. You want to make that list. Uh oh. Shoot. Next, you want to go over that list and maybe cross out the ones that you're like, no, I really don't have any um, negative feelings towards that person anymore. Cross them off. If you do still have something or you can remember a whole bunch of things that they did to you that hurt your feelings, stop on that person's name and pray for them. We use Matthew 5.44. It says, but I say to you, love your enemies and bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spatefully have used you and persecuted you. So you need to stop on that person's name, like your mom. Okay, my mom hurt me, hurt me a bunch of times, and you just bless her. Lord, I bless my mom. And Lord, I pray for my mom. Lord, I pray that you go to her right now and let her know how much you love her. Wrap your loving arms around my mom right now and heal her, her wounds of her soul. Ease the pain in her joints and her muscles. And just bless her. And every time the thought of that person comes to you, that what they did to you, how they hurt you, just repeat the prayer. Bless her. Pray for them. Make it up. If you are able to, do something nice for them. 
It says, do good to those who hate you. Now you might think, okay, that my mom hurt me a bunch. She doesn't hate me, but it kind of feels like she hates. It feels like the person hates you. So maybe go out, send them a card. Hey, thank you for that one time you helped me. Or, or bring them a coffee when you, you're getting your own coffee. Do something. Just an act of kindness goes a long way. And pray for them. I say this, people that offend you, I think it's God's way of mobilizing us to pray for one another. So if you get offended by someone, just know it's God letting you know, hey, that person needs prayer. Number three. So we have number one in the miracle list is to write a numbered list of all the people who have hurt you. And then there are these other steps within number one. Pray for them. Number two is repent to God. Now, I'm not saying you're driving to work. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I mean, you could do that, but really take time out. Maybe get on your knees on your bed or on a pillow on the floor or something and really pray and think about what you're saying and say it from your heart. Lord, I am so sorry for cursing my mom, for talking about her, for gossiping about her. I am so sorry, Lord, for, for holding unforgiveness, for holding grudges. Please forgive me. And yes, you need to do that for every single person on your list. You want to pray sincerely. That just means from your heart, be honest. And fervently, that means put effort into it. Put some effort into that, you know, allow emotion to come and flow. Remember what they did. Recognize how they hurt you and then release it. Recognize that sin, call it for what it is, and then release it and give it to God. It's not your responsibility to make them right, act right, be correct, treat you better. It's not your responsibility, so you let them go. Matthew 6, 6, 14 through 15 says, for if you forgive others their trespasses, and this translation says, their reckless and willful sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, if you nurture the hurt and the anger, it will result in a broken relationship between you and God. Then your Father will not forgive you your trespasses. We all need Father's forgiveness. So please forgive. Colossians 3:12 through 13 says this, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, <coughs> humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, as Christ has forgiven you, so you also must do. This is what our character is supposed to be. So we're striving to have the character of God, and that's how he says that we should be. We should be loving, having mercy, being kind, and most importantly, forgiving those who've hurt us. Hang in there, I'm almost done. Okay, another important point on the miracle list is stop complaining and blaming yourself, complaining about other people, compl blaming yourself and others, stop it immediately. James 4.11 says, Do not speak e evil of one another, brethren. He who speaks evil of a brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. So stop complaining, catch your thoughts, Stop it immediately because it will block any healing. It'll, it'll put roadblocks in the middle of your healing. And it separates you from God. All right. I think we're almost done. So this picture is showing a chain that's broken. And that's the point of this class. Going through the miracle list, you will release these people who have hurt you. You're going to forgive them. We're going to break curses. We're going to pray for one another. And little by little, you will experience freedom. So thank you. And I'll be posting another video in a week, number two on the miracle list. Thank you.